Chambers Bay Bourbon Whiskey, three years old. I am very excited about this. Love to see where they're going. This is the kind of craft distiller you want to support because their flavor profile is unique to them. There's not any off-putting notes and it's got its own bourbon whiskey going. I highly recommend this for those who want to encourage bourbon whiskey outside of Kentucky. Now here's really one. Nice. You spotted this off the shelf and you said, yeah. hey, that's, that's our bottle. Well, it's the same as our little sample bottle here. Let's see here. Hey. Hey, I'm a bigger guy than you. Yeah. yeah, it is actually the same bottle. Is it from the same people, you think? I would venture to guess yes. Look at that. The, the, even the cork is kind of the same. So this is a bourbon aged for a minimum of uh, uh, three years. Um, you know, they are in uh, University Place, Washington. So this, is, this always gets into something interesting. It's like, where can you make bourbon? You can make bourbon anywhere in the United States. Where should you make bourbon? That's always a question when I get these, mm -hmm. when I get bottles from outside of Kentucky, is that, you know, it, does, does bourbon, does, do the bourbon production techniques do well in other states? And this is, this is a good example, because it's got three, it's got three years on it. You know, they've got a pretty good team there at Chambers Bay. They've done, they do a lot of different things there. And this is their bourbon. Let me look real quick, sorry. 95 proof sherry. Do you have any idea whether it's a rye or a weeded bourbon? I'm sure it's in my email. I, since I'm randomly just pulling things off the shelf for you, I don't know. I appreciate the randomness though. Pot distilled. No, I think they're a hybrid. I don't, I'll be honest with you, I don't fucking know. I didn't do any yeah. research on this. I just grabbed the bottle. I mean, I suppose I, I could do that. For well, I mean, even now. even the uh, well, this is batch one, and like I said, I I like the random. Even, but even with the hybrid, where it's the pot with the column, it, it still has a lot of characteristics of the. I'll pot. be damned. That's not bad. This is actually, um, I would actually recommend this. This is uh, you know Chambers Bay um, straight bourbon whiskey, you know distilled and aged and. In Washington, it's not bad. No, I mean, they didn't get greedy with their tails cut. That's one of the things that a lot of pot distilled whiskeys struggle with. They'll get greedy there at the end where it's, I can get a little bit more whiskey for bottling, or I get a little bit more whiskey for barreling. But they've made a really good uh, set of cuts on this one. I find that this is, this is one of the most uh, encouraging examples of distilling outside of Kentucky because it doesn't taste like Kentucky bourbon. What it tastes yeah. like, it tastes like bourbon, but it has like its own nuance. It's got a, it, it, it's definitely grain forward, but the expression of grain is not like cornbread when it comes from Kentucky. It's more, I think it's more developed than that. It's almost like a, like a, but honestly calls out to some of the notes from these other whiskeys that you've actually exposed me to. Uh, pulling out some of that, like you said, that honey instead of like the Yeah, yeah, the gritty, so yeah. so it has like a malted, uh, if you've ever had like a, uh, like, like a wheat bread with a lot of grain in it and there's like a lot of barley in there mm -hmm. and it's like a malted barley, it's like that and they got like a splash of honey in there. That's what this is. This is this is that this reminds me of a bread with the guy's got the muscles on there. Yeah. And it's called Dave's like man bread or something. I don't, I don't remember. What Dave's it's called. man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dave. Doesn't he have like long flowing hair? Long bit? flowing hair and a big, like yeah. way bigger muscles than me. And it, it has and he has like a kind of like a honey nut bread. And it that is spot on to what this is. So this is a an incredible incredible example of doing bourbon outside of Kentucky and making it unique to, you know. Well, it's actually it embracing it. It's making it your own. Not yeah, just... yeah. So it doesn't taste like every other bourbon. So congratulations to, to Chambers Bay. This is an excellent one. Okay, and let's so, make some more room. Mm -hmm. 